Hello everyone, welcome to another Binance session. My name is Mayuso. On the previous presentation, we show you, uh, for example, how to know which process you as a manager or as an actor are involved to, and even how to uh, configure the race matrix using a feature called responsibilities available on the portal, all right? And today I'm gonna to show how to upgrade a participant and see the impact of that, and even share the same information of oh, case, for example, share the list of participants in the report and how to share with your team that doesn't have the same access as you, all right? Uh, in space, for example, I'm using the administrator role. That's why I have access to all features here. But imagine, for example, that you have in your team a process analyst that I have a limit for some people that you have in your team, okay? So let's get started. Uh, basically, you have some ways to change the participant. You can, for example, select the lane in your process, then come in the properties, and the performer, for example, change the participant of this role, right? Role and the participant have the same meaning, this content, right? Uh, so, but if I do something like this, probably I won't see the impact because, for example, I can have one participant uh, being assigned to more than one process. In order to make this adjustment, the best way is to come to the participant list available here in this menu. And here, you're going to be available to see the impact of this change. For example, I'm going to select the IT uh, role. And using this icon, you can see which process this role is being used. For example, in this case, the process web, web search calls, uh, Google Forms, and process B, and process A. If I change the process on the, that, on the process, probably the, all these process is going to be affected, all right? So in this case, the best way to use this, uh, to change or make some adjustments in the, the participant is to use this feature available here on participant list, all right? But for example, as an administrator, I have access to these features. Let's see about, for example, Mary, that in, in this case, it's a uh, okay. Uh, in this case, to marry is not possible. For example, uh, select the list of participants and see the impact of the of the change that probably he's gonna do about it. For example, imagine that uh, you're gonna select, for example, this uh, this lane and then here change this participant. At the moment, she doesn't know which process is gonna be affected, right? Because this doesn't have this information. So thanks to a feature called dot export, we can create report. Don't worry, you have, we share with you these links on the chat, right? How to create a report, how to create a page, or even a record, something like this, in order to, in order to be able to do this uh, later, all right? So how to solve this problem? If Mary doesn't have access to this uh, information, we're going to create a report, all right? Of course, it's, it's already created. We're going to show how to prepare the information with Mary. Let's go back to the preview account view. Uh, I'm talking about this feature here. The first step is to see which the uh, tables you're going to use in your query. And after that, you have a way to, for example, use this button to perform the query and see the result, right? Basically, here I'm going to reproduce the same list that I have here. Okay. And of course, see the impact of the change. The idea is to share the information with my team. In this case, Mary, that doesn't have the same access as me, right? So in order to do that, I've created a, uh, like a page here, participants. And this page, I'm, gonna, I'm using port. And this way, I'm going to share this information with Mary, right? So we put a link as well to this part in you uh, on the chat, you know, in order to represent the same behavior later. Uh, it's not go of this webinar show how to create this and use this configuration, right? Uh, so basically what I've done is come to the authorization and see which role uh, Mary is being assigned. In this case, it's one process analyst. And here I put the page available to her, all right? Let's see the results. Let's back to again with Mary. Yeah. 
on the home page, you're going to see that we have two buttons, the start page, and I have information from process, it's uh, the full configuration. And this button here, but one that's going to be, I'm uh, going to see the uh, report, right? The report that we create to her. Uh, in this case, when I submit information now, for example, we're going to have the same information that I have in my environment, right? Uh, for example, use a, a report and reproduce the list. And here, for example, now he can see, for example, the IT uh, performing role. It's being assigned to the process Google Farm, process A, process B, and what's that called. Now, he's probably going to have the information what's going to be the impact of if he change some information uh, related to the, the participant, right? Uh, and the goal here, of course, is going to share, is going uh, is share the same information that I have used in an administrator account to someone that doesn't have the same access as me. Thanks to what that export that we export a lot of information from helpful participants, uh, from uh, forms, process, right? These views, we create like a view that have this information. That's why it's possible to create this uh, presentation here, right? So uh, here I have a future as well, imagine that I would like to see the, the, the participant by itself, and then selecting the, the, the T, performing C, for just the information related to the uh, participant. So guys, that's all for now. Just to summarize what I've said to you today, we show how to to uh, change our participant, to see the impact of that using the insert account, uh, what's the best way to do that, and even how to share the same information to someone that doesn't have the same access as you, in this case, a uh, process analyst, right? And of course, in using a report to solve the problem. So, um, I think that's all. Thank you for your time. You don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Bye-bye.